Ah. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Captain, Captain the wheel! Find your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble! How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry. Possible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations. We raise anchor. Sorry for the early libation, Captain, but do you realize it has been a whole year since we met? <laughs> a whole year. Changed my life, you did, and for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating without you. A whole year. Guest. I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? 
I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct, and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh yes, the Grand Master of the Colonial Right. You'd like him, Shay. His father was an assassin. Really? He must have a story to tell. What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis's? Either. Though I suspect the King's is finer. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charmer. I know Murphy is in the French King's bed. Now I know you're pulling my leg. Floating cargo for the taking, sir. Cheery morning in December. December. And all of me money it was spent. Spent, spent. And where it went, I swear I can't remember. Spent. So down to the shipping office I went. The paddy lay back. Taking your sack. Grace for Take impact. Turn around the captain's evil pole. Oh. About ship's station boys be better. Around the Valparaiso down the hall. Well, it seems there was a great demand for sailing. For the colonies, for Frisco and for France. Well, a ship that pulled the limey burnt the hot. And got legless drunk on my advance. How do they back? Take in your stack. They can turn around the gaps and leave a pole. About ships, space, and boys we had. We're about to pop our eyes around the hall. Well, I joined her on a cold December morning. A flapping of me flippers to keep warm. With the south cone hoisted as a warning. To stand by the coming of a storm. A paddy lay back. Take in your slack. Take a turn around the captain, he the ball. About ships, station boys be handy. We're bound for Valparaiso around the hall. Well, I woke up in the morning, slip and sore, boys. Sorry. And I knew that I was outward bound again. Bound again. And the voice came a bawling at. Oh, 
falcon affronts them, tropic lands we soon shall see again. Six hellish months we pass away in the cold Kamchatka sea. And now we're bound from the Arctic ground, rolling down to Old Maui. Rolling down to Old Maui, me boys, rolling down to Old Maui. We're onward bound from the Arctic ground, rolling home to Old Maui. And now we sail with the fate Brief in our tops! You are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Montcalm. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Montcalm. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, wouldn't you say? Perhaps.
Take cover! I hope so. Keep together, men! I'll take out as many as I can. Of him. You have to find him again. All right, Colonel. Keep your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly. Up 
Surprise work. <laughs> Hurry. Kasegawase will not relent. Kasegawase? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. I have him in my I have sight. as clear a shot as I can. <clears throat> I can hit him from here. This way! Resistance is not in your best interest! Desist! Come, follow me! Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Chee! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once, Master Cormac. Meet me there.